Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mr. Ronsley, uh, Mr. Abdullah Ronsley. I have lived in Pakistan now for nearly 20 years. I have worked here for education mostly. I began my work in Pakistan in the year 1980, I think it was 1986. And I came here basically because I felt this country was acculturated to understanding the English language. It was a country of a great Islamic society. It had enormous potential for development and to a better society. And that all of us from the Western world who relish our good educational system, our welfare states, our social security, have a duty to work for our fellow human beings in whatever capacity we have the capability in. My capacities are art as an artist. I try to envision a better world, a world where we will treat the resources of our planet with care and with love and with respect. And in the same way, we will treat our fellow human beings, whatever their religion, whatever their faith, whatever their duty to their family or their country, we will treat them with love and respect. And this is what I want to instill in my work in education into the children of Pakistan. I want them to love their country, to love their fellow human beings, to love their fellow animals, their water resources, their soil, and to live with a deep abiding love of it. Not to quit it because they don't get sufficient income, not to leave their country behind and desert it. I am a Muslim for a number of reasons. The main one is that I feel Islam calls upon its followers to treat nature with love and with respect. We have a concept of sadka ijalya, which means that we treat water, we treat the trees and the soil and education as the highest priorities that have multiple repercussions within the society for the future. That their effects are repercussive, that they continue impacting on the future in numerous ways through the benefits, mostly, positive benefits that they infer on future generations. Education, number one, is the basic rule of Islam that we should develop and promote the highest standards in our education. Number two, that we should protect the resources of our planet, especially its water resources and its tree cover. These two areas are central to Islamic thinking because this religion came out of a massive desert, one of the worst deserts on earth, Saudi Arabia, Ruba al Khali, as it is called. That area was without water except deep in the aquifers. It was without tree cover because the trees had been burned down or destroyed by the arid, arid conditions. So from that region where the resources were totally limited naturally by nature came a religion that protected these resources and said they must be held of, in the highest respect and defended at all costs, even during war. Water and trees must never be harmed, even during war. Now, if this concept could come from the desert, the barren deserts of Arabia, why can we not, in these fertile heartlands of India, look after our resources? Why can we not teach the young a love for their motherland? and for its resources, because they are the resources not of each generation individually, they are for the future, the resources we all need to sustain life 